Hi friends, today let us discuss the second topic of transformers, EMF equation. According to principle of operation of the transformers, transformer is a static device which converts electrical energy from one circuit to the other circuit through magnetic medium. That means there is no connection between first circuit and the second circuit. Now, from where we need to start the EMF equation now? But there is a there is a parameter which is common to both the circuits is flux phi. So let us start our EMF equation from flux phi. Now what to take as phi? Yes, voltage V1 is responsible to produce the primary current I1, and even I1 is responsible to produce flux phi. So and as V1 is sinusoidal. So I1 should be the sinusoidal, so the flux should be the sinusoidal. So let us take mutual flux phi as phi m sin omega t. And according as we discussed in the principle of operation video, according to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and Lenz's law, the EMF induced in the primary coil is E1 is equal to minus N1 d phi by dt. As our flux is alternating, so there is some value for d phi by dt. So obviously there is an EMF induced in the primary coil, and that will be written here like this. Now it, our job is very easy. Now we have to substitute my our flux phi in place of phi in this equation. So E1 is equal to minus capital N1 d phi by dt. So we have already know that uh, capital N1 is the number of turns in the primary coil so now i have let us substitute phi m sin omega t in place of phi now i have to derivate i have to differentiate phi m sin omega t so the differentiation of phi m sin omega t will be omega cos omega t why because phi m is a constant so we can take it out of the differentiation sin omega t differentiation with respect to t will be cos omega t into omega so this will be the final final differentiation so now i need to convert cos in terms of sine so it will be sine pi by 2 minus omega t but i like to interchange these two terms omega t and pi by 2 that means i like to introduce one minus there so if i do that it will be now it will be sine theta but i like to make it to sine minus theta if i have done like that according to trigonometry sin minus theta will be minus sin theta and that minus and already we have one minus according to Lin's law these two minuses will get cancelled or gets multiplied to become positive sign so finally this will be my output capital N1 phi m omega sin omega t minus pi by 2 and as we know in sinusoidal quantities except the sine quantity all other quantities will give us the maximum value so here e1 max will be capital n1 phi m omega and omega is the angular frequency so this is the thing but now i, I want emf equation in rms value so this is maximum value if i divide this by root 2 i will get the rms value so i will do the same thing before that here we have substituted omega is equal to 2 pi f and then divided by root 2 so the finally my e1 will be 4.44 capital n1 phi m f where capital e1 is the induced emf at primary capital n1 is the number of turns in the primary phi m is maximum flux and f is the frequency of the sinusoidal wave i mean sinusoidal voltage so this is the complete derivation of emf equation and here one more thing is there as flux is common to both primary and secondary as we have discussed in previous video here e2 will also become equal to minus n2 d5 by dt so obviously we can write that thing also e2 is equal to 4.44 n2 phi m f so this is the complete explanation of emf equation of the transformer if you like this video please like it if you have any doubts in this video please write in the comment box and if i commit any mistake you just let me know in comment box only and you can share this video 
and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and please click on the bell button so that you can get the my videos whenever i will upload in the youtube thank you thank you very much